What's going on everybody? We're going to be talking about Halloween Ends and why it pissed me off. There will be spoilers in this video. I'm not going to get into extremely, you know, detailed aspects of the movie, but um there's going to be some spoilers. So if you don't want to be spoiled, then uh, click off the video, but it's honestly not going to be too detailed. I really wanted to talk about this movie because I just got finished seeing it last night. And um, I have to say I'm really disappointed with how it turned out. I did not like the movie. Um, they just tried to go in too much of a different direction for no reason. I mean, it's the third movie in the franchise. You don't have to take such a big gamble. All you had to do was stick the landing. All right, because the first one... Halloween 2018, I thought was really good. I really enjoyed that movie. I thought the second one, um, not nearly as good, but with all the kills and the, you know the different type of kills, I thought it was a very entertaining movie. And now we get Halloween ends, and they want to go in this crazy direction and try new things, introduce a new character that I'm just I wasn't feeling that character at all in any way. Okay. I feel like they treated Michael Myers terribly in this movie, and we didn't see him until about an hour into the movie. Okay, a Halloween movie without Michael Myers is Halloween 3, okay? And we don't want that. Well, I didn't want that for this movie. Another thing is the lack of kills. I mean, it's just, you know, there's barely any kills in it from Michael Myers, which is what I want to see. Okay, you're ending this trilogy, and... You're barely incorporating the main character that everybody goes to the movies to see. And also, I feel like the way that they wrote this movie and ended things, I mean, they made my guy Michael go out like a bitch. Basically, that's how I feel. I'm really pissed off about that. This new character, Corey, I see what they were trying to do with him, but it just was not, it just did not land for me at all. I was not feeling his character in any way. Like, that scene where he goes into the freaking, you know, the tunnel or whatever, the sewer system... And he, to get Michael's mask, and he freaking, he basically overpowers Michael Myers and takes his mask. And Michael just lays there. I mean, they just, I just do not like the way they handled Michael Myers. The Michael Myers. They handled him terribly. Trying to, you know, be so different and hit us with a surprise and a twist or whatever. And it just pissed me off the whole time. I did like Lori's character a lot better in this movie than in the second one because in the second one she was just way too dramatic, way too over the top. In this film, she was more laid back, you know, you know, just regular. She talked like a regular person. She didn't talk like she was trying to deliver a poem every single um, time she spoke. So I really liked her character in this movie better. I hated the granddaughter. She was just like falling for this guy after she, this guy Corey after she just met him. And then she's planning on going away with him and running away. He's just acting like weird the whole time and she's just loving it, you know? She's loving it the whole time. I just don't understand why they had to go with this direction for the third movie. It's not like you're doing like a, a reboot of a franchise. No, you're ending a franchise that's been legendary for the most part. I mean, obviously we've had some terrible Halloween movies. To handle it this way, to end this this little trilogy here with us barely getting Michael Myers in the movie and then him being treated like like a punk basically like what was going on and then like you know Corey like teams up with Michael in like a couple of scenes it's just like what is that I don't want to see Michael Myers teaming up with any random dude I want to see him go on a one-man killing spree because that's what we all watch Halloween to see I just wasn't buying the angle they took with Corey just at all I mean for him to just turn into this psychopathic killer i believe they try to do something where he you know when he looked into michael's eyes and michael looked into his eyes and i guess you know that just like flicked a switch in his head or something but you know i wasn't buying it i didn't like that angle at all in any way the lack of kills and the lack of michael myers for most of the movie i mean an hour into the movie is when we really actually get a good look at michael and something actually happens with him but you know i wouldn't mind the lack of killing because look at the original halloween right that's like my favorite horror movie of all time the original Halloween didn't have a lot of kills, but it was just a really good movie through and through. And, you know, it had a lot of tension. This movie did not have any tension. Um, it seems like this movie was just completely different, directed by a completely different person from the first two in this trilogy. Michael doesn't really have anything memorable in this movie. And another thing, the audacity to try to recreate that kill from the first ever Halloween, where he, you know, stabs the guy and keeps him stuck on the wall they try to do that with this chick in halloween ends 
Like, come on. What are they doing? And trust me, I'm not trying to be one of those negative people because I usually am a guy that, you know, I try my hardest to not be one of those people that loves a franchise and can't deal with any type of change. I always give things a chance and I really gave this movie a chance to try to follow along with an open mind, but I was just really not feeling it and I was pissed off most of the time. And then again, just like the second movie, just like Halloween Kills, some of the dialogue from these characters was absolutely horrible. People do not talk like this in real life, okay? You know, the whole the whole bullying situation, it was just so over the top in this movie where Corey's getting bullied by those kids, just trying too hard. Too many B-movie vibes for me. Just got nothing that I was expecting, nothing that I wanted, and I don't think most people would expect what happened in this movie, all right? No one's gonna expect to have Michael Myers show up an hour into a Halloween movie and then barely do anything the whole movie and then go out like a bitch at the end of the movie to end all things in this franchise. And I'm never usually the negative guy. I'm always, you know, trying to be positive and look for good things in movies, but this movie is not one of them. And that's a rarity for me to actually feel this strongly toward the negative side of a movie, honestly. Always gonna love this franchise. One of my favorite franchises ever. The original Halloween is my favorite horror movie of all time, but to end it like this just left a bad taste in my mouth and, uh, I'm really disappointed. So with that being said, I'm going to give this movie a rating of 2.5 out of 5. Did not like the direction that they went in. And uh, yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. So let me know how you feel in the comments, what you would rate it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Later.